Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas. I'm pretty sure most of you have had clients where you have to build your website and you're at this period before you actually start building and you want to come up with different types of different types of like designs or, or variants of how the website will actually look like in the future to kind of be aligned with the client as to how the website should actually look like. Because like nowadays you would have to use something like Figma to kind of come up with maybe two different types of directions as to where the website can go maybe one a little bit more formal and the other one a little bit more funky with with animations and and crazy scroll interactions so in today's video what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be showing you how you can use ai for this client exploration workflow maybe you can even even use it together with your clients you know sitting across from each other with in a table or you know online in a, in a google meets call and how you can use ai to basically come up with like five different types of variants of this future website concept but before we dive into this video, I'd love to invite you guys to my free Discord community. We are a bunch of different startup founders, designers, developers from all over the world. And basically, we get together every single weekday, talk about different tools, talk about different topics, talk about our struggles and challenges in life. And yeah, if you're interested in joining one of these calls, feel free to join down. Link is down in the description below. Now, let's say that this is the website that our client has, rvile.com, which is actually a real website. Shout out to Vasco Montero and his team for creating this great product. And it's already a really nice website, but we're just going to be using this as an example for today's video. And I just want to like go ahead and maybe we're trying to look for different ways of fixing some certain sections. Let's say the, the hero section, we want to do some type of A-B test here. We want to use, we want to keep on using this, but we also want to create like two other different variants of this hero section. And we also have, if we scroll down a little bit, we also have all of these different features. And we also want to kind of test out the, the structure of this or the way of how we communicate this. Because right now, as you can see, you just have to keep on scrolling to see everything, but it would be nice maybe if we can place it all inside of one, you know, overview, maybe like a bento grid or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screenshot of this hero section just like this and i'm going to drag and drop the screenshot into chat gpt so i'm going to say like can you describe the structure of this hero section this is the hero section of a company called arval arval.com do a bit of research on them so i i kind of want the ai to do a little bit of research so it understands the whole concept of the company there's a lot of different content pages inside of this company's website well they're you know they're an seo ai tool so basically they're going to have a lot of different SEO topics. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this and ChatGPT is taking their time. That's great. I wanted to take the time to kind of research a little bit about this company. And it basically gives me the overview of what is Arval, what their company is. They have a few references here from their own website, which is what I was talking about. And they also give us a structure of the current hero section, right? Headline, subheadline, call to action, which is this get three free articles with the input field for the email. Then they have social proof, trust signals, which is really great. And they have visual background, which is like this, you know, uh, the blurs over here that you can see these like little gradients. You can also see trusted by 200 plus marketers and agencies with their faces. Gives us a little bit more about the hierarchy and flow. So the headline draws you in, uh, sub headline clarifies what the platform is, talks a little bit more about the branding and messages, messaging choices. So overall, this answer is really great. This is exactly what I was looking for. So now I wanna brainstorm a bit with ChatGPT to kind of find out different ways of how we can enhance this particular hero section. So it gives us three different ways. So add visual context, strengthen the social proof, which was something that I was actually thinking about and sharpen the CTA and offer, right? So maybe change the words a little bit, the wording. It says together, these tweaks would make the platform's value visually con concrete, build trust with this new strength, uh, with this new feature over here and increase conversions with a clear benefit driven offer. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start off with the, with the strength, strengthening the social proof. So I'm gonna say, help me with a prompt for a design that can strengthen the social proof in a more visual way. So we get design a clean, modern social proof section directly beneath the hero CTA, featuring a horizontal row of well-known client or partner logos in grayscale for credibility. Okay, so that's actually a, a good step forward. Paired with a highlighted testimonial card from a real agency owner, including their photo, name, and company, styled in a minimal card with subtle, subtle shadow, add a bold metric centered above the logos using large topography so visitors immediately connect their numbers, faces, and logos into one cohesive trust signal. Okay, this, sound, this sounds pretty interesting. All right, and inside of Magic Path, 
I have this sketch of the actual design of Magic Path's hero section. So this is actually a great way of, you know, taking this particular component inside of Magic Path and adding these prompts from ChatGPT to create different types of variants of how it can eventually look like. So we can copy this prompt that ChatGPT gave us, go back into Magic Path, click on this, click on Ask Magic Path, and we can paste in this prompt just like this and click on Submit. All right, and this is basically what Magic Path gives us, right? We have the same hero section that we had before, but now we have this new div where it says 220,000 plus marketers and agencies trust Arval. We have the different logos over here that we can basically replace. And we have this card that ChatGPT was talking to us about. So that's a great way. That's one way of how we can redesign the section. So we can ask ChatGPT for a more interactive way of displaying this. So let's see what it gives us. It says design a rotating testimonial carousel, carousel that cycles through short quotes from agencies and marketers each slide featuring the person's photo, name, role, and company logo for credibility. So let's go ahead and get something like this. And what I can do is I can just copy, paste this like so, and then we can select this particular component over here. And where it says edit with AI, we can paste in that prompt from ChatGPT and click on generate. All right, and this one looks a little bit more different. You can see that we have the same text that we had in the other one, but here on the bottom. And now we have this like, plus or, or this next button and previous button with these little trackers over here that you can select. And we have the company logo down here on the right. We have the name of the person over here on the left and we have their quote up here. And again, this is just with one prompt. You can kind of create these different variants of how a section could actually look like. And if I just leave it standing there, as you can see, I think after like around every four or five seconds, it changes to the next person. And going back to the original website, we have all of these different features with their own specific image and their own call to action. But again, like I said, there's a lot of scrolling, so it would be nice to kind of come up with a different way of how to portray this, but in a kind of like overview way, like a bento grid where you have everything all in one, one view. So I'm just gonna start taking screenshots of all of these different sections and giving them into ChatGPT so that ChatGPT understands the sections and can provide us with a good you know, way of, of how to show this. So with that being said, let's go ahead and drag and drop these images into the chat here in ChatGPT. So there are like five images in total. So that means that there's five ways or five times that you have to kind of scroll to read everything. So we can say, you know, these are different features that Arval offers your users. Right now, you have to scroll a lot to view all of the features. What are three different ways we can limit scrolling so that the user can have a good general overview of all the features in one view. So we get a featured grid overview. We have tabbed feature navigation. We have collapsible accordion with icons. We don't have any bento grid one. I'm gonna maybe ask ChatGPT what they think about that idea. So ChatGPT likes my idea, I guess. A bento grid would be a great fit here. So it's giving me the layout of the bento, of this bento grid concept. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to basically duplicate those files that we created in Magic Path, those components that we created in Magic Path, and come up with these different sections underneath those hero sections. So I'm gonna say create a prompt for the tab feature navigation and the bento grid concept include the copy, right? Because we want, we, want to, we want the copy to kind of be the same. So we start getting our different responses. So for the tabs feature navigation, we can go ahead and get this, copy this, and we can go ahead and basically duplicate this specific component, bring this underneath. And I can say something like, just paste in my, comp my, my prompt, click on submit. All right, and we basically get this tab view like this, right? Where we have the different tabs, writer, editor, AI agent, auto blog, knowledge base, client management. And obviously the design here is not finished. It's not a final design, but we're just looking at the kind of UX concept here, right? I'd honestly even like align it to the center. I think that would even look nicer. And yeah, this is looking great, right? So we have all of these different tabs over here. And if we click on overview, we basically get like a grid view of all of the different features. Now let's go back into ChatGPT and copy that bento grid concept prompt into Magic Path to actually create this new bento grid concept for this feature section. So I'm actually gonna copy all of this and I'm not gonna copy this because it's actually giving us some styling options and I wanted to keep it very consistent with, with the hero section. So we're, not gonna, so we're not gonna give it some duplicate descriptions of the styling. So let's just go back into Magic Path and I'm gonna get this copy and I'm gonna say below or underneath the hero section, 
design this. So underneath the hero section, design a bento grid features overview section inspired by Apple's marketing layouts. So that seems interesting. Let's go ahead and submit this. Now, if we scroll down, we get we get a bento grid. Now it's it's not perfect. As you can see, we have this large space, space, but basically what this is, is it's a placeholder for a specific image, right? You can also come up with something like this with a little bit less space between the different boxes and with different types of colors that match kind of like the gradient style of this original hero section. But then once you're done, you basically have an overview of all of the different things that you've designed here in Magic Path. And you can keep on iterating and keep on developing different types of prompts inside of ChatGPT, copying these different designs and pasting in these prompts and kind of seeing all of these different ideas of what you can build for your website. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to let me know, let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to get this file, I'll have it down available also in the description for you guys to check out. And yeah, if you want to, again, you know, just talk to me or my community, feel free to join the Discord. And yeah, hope to see you there. Hope to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.